Today, I'm sharing with you my DIY underwater GoPro rig. Don't go anywhere. What is up YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? How's it going out there in fish tank land? This is Joseph Harden from JH Aquatics and today I want to share with you my DIY build of an underwater GoPro rig. Um, I've been doing a lot of underwater footage with my GoPro, mostly in freshwater places, but recently I've been trying to get some footage out in the ocean of turtles and other uh, marine aquatic life and I've noticed that I'm getting a lot of shaky footage trying to swim with the GoPro and use a snorkel mask and fins and whatnot and uh, I've been trying to get some better footage. I know that I can uh, kick my frame rate up to about 60 or really 120 if you can get that on your GoPro and uh, lower the ISO and you get a lot better footage when you uh, edit that in post and you uh, lower your frame rate down. It can smooth out a lot. Uh, but another thing that is really helpful is to have your GoPro on a rig, on a tr uh, underwater tray as they call it with two handles so that I'm not just trying to hold it with one hand and stabilize it that way but I can actually get a much better shot holding it with two hands. So I'm gonna share that with you guys today. I have a little bit of uh, PVC pipe. This is just a little bit I had laying around. I didn't purchase this today, so I'm not sure uh, if it's gonna be enough. I'm gonna work with what I have, honestly, and, and make a GoPro mount out of this bit of uh, PVC pipe that I have here. I did go to the store today and I got the fittings that I needed. I have uh, two 45s, two T's, and I have two 90s is what I'm working with. I also got some um, zip ties and I have a Dremel that I'm using for a drill because my drill battery seems to be completely dead and not working for me. I have my trusty pair of PVC cutters which are a little bit a little bit hardcore but they they do the job and um, what I'm using to base the whole thing off of is the uh, display base that the GoPro comes with. Now when you, you know, when you buy the GoPro, a lot of the GoPros these days, uh, they come in a box and a little glass case, on the, a plexiglass case on the top, and there's this base that the GoPro's mounted to. Well, I didn't want to throw this away because it does have a little clip on it, so I figured I would save it, and I've used it for a couple of different things. I've used it in my freshwater footage to put the GoPro on it, and I can sit this base at the bottom of the water, at the, uh, you know, in the pool or whatever that I'm in, and uh, it doesn't want to fall over. It gives it more of a, um, a sturdier base to be on. But I figured what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, drill some holes in this base and zip tie it down to my PVC uh, DIY uh, underwater rig that I'm going to create with you guys today. So let me get to it. Let's keep this short and sweet. And I'm going to start cutting up some PVC pipe and putting this baby together. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the camera off of me and onto my uh, workspace here so you can see the whole process as I go along. So like I said before, I have uh, six different fittings here and a little run of pipe. I'm going to go ahead and show you the basic idea, the layout here. Um, I plan on having two T's in the middle which will have two bars that come off of it and then this can zip tie to those bars so these will be really close together so that I can zip tie to, the, to that and then I'm going to have two 45's which are going to come off of it or out here somewhere and then two 90's that will stick up at a 90 degree angle there so that I have two handles to hold on to it and the GoPro will be right here in the middle, faced forward. Now, I'm not going to glue these fittings together so that I could switch this up if I'd like. I can go ahead and turn it around this way and have the GoPro mounted out here in the front to even get it farther out in the front away from me so I don't have to worry about uh, getting me or any of my hands or anything like that in the, uh, in the shot. So I want to keep this really simple for you guys so it's easy to do and um, I'm trying to keep it really simple for myself. One of the other reasons why I'm not going to be gluing the fittings together is so that I can take this apart and take it with me to Peru easily in my luggage. Um, so first off, I think the most important measurement here right now is because I'm using this base, I want to make sure that these two pieces of uh, pipe that come off of this T here to zip tie to this are within the measurements of that. 
So I'm going to kind of get an idea of where it's at with a little room for two holes to be on either sides here so that I can zip tie around. So is it pretty much going to be fitting to fitting as we call, as we say in the, and I'm just going to go with that, pretty much fitting to fitting. And uh, that's a term we use in the plumbing world. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just get a measurement there. I'm going to call that a um, little shy of two inches. I'm going to go a little short of two inches just to be sure. So we're going to call that, oh, what would we call that? Yeah, no, two inches would be perfect. Two inches on that. One thing I like to do when I don't want to actually have to mark the uh, pipe or I'm in a, in a rush, I will just go ahead and use my finger and or use the lettering on the side of the pipe as a, as a judge. So I'm going to call that that first one right there. And just keep this simple. Throwing things around. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those two together like that. This is gonna be a tight fit that I don't plan, I don't plan on these two pieces coming apart. The key is, is I'll look down it from the side here and try to make sure that these two uh, faces are flush with each other. And they are looking pretty flush. And that piece is coming out a little bit longer than I wanted it to. So I might actually cut it down a little bit more. If I can get one of these off. I'm going to take a little bit off of this just to make sure that these uh, these two pieces are pretty much fitting to fitting so they remain underneath of this platform here. And we're just going to try to make them straight with each other. That's cool. And that works for me. They stay with underneath of this platform. I'm going to drill some holes, two holes here on either side and two holes here on either side so I can put four zip ties to that. The other important thing is, uh, for one, I'm going to try to keep it as far back here as possible. Well, I don't know, just to be safe, I'm going to go right with it on that. So I'm going to want a piece the length of that. I'm not even really taking measurements. I could. I will. I'll take a measurement to be good about it. Um, I'm going to call that four and a half. And these are the most crucial ones. The rest of the pipe is going to get used how I can here. Uh, four and a half. Copy that piece there. So these pieces will go inside of there and there. And that's pretty solid. So that's going to work like that, and then the tray will get mounted onto there. I can come back and just make sure that they're lined up pretty well. The tray will get mounted right onto there with zip ties. Now at this point, I just really want to, well, technically I could if I wanted to, just put two 90s off of there. You could go that simple. Let's go two 90s off of there with handles and have the GoPro mounted out in front, which is a possibility. I'm going to go ahead and make the measurements for the handle to make sure I have leftover for the handle first because this is all the pipe that I have to work with today which is another part of it so I'm going to look at it like that just to get an idea, idea of my grip and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit on here for what's going inside of the cup so I'm going to call I'm going to go ahead and call that it right there I'm going to need two of those. Go ahead and do that. And 
Then you could get fancy and put caps on the end of these and extend this out a little bit and put a cap on the end. But I'm not trying to hold air inside of this at all. I want it to actually fill with water so that it's lighter. I don't want to have air in it when you're trying to go down and have it want to float on you. That's not a good idea. Not in this situation. Um, so I'm just going to put these on the ends of the 90s. See, so these can be your handles. So technically, you could really just put a piece of pipe in the end on both sides like that. And um, I might just actually do that because that's all the pipe I really have left. And cut this in half and extend it out about that far and just use the handles like that. Now what I was thinking about doing was having pipe like that and then like that to bring myself out even farther. But I really don't have to do all that. So not to confuse you, but I'm going to go ahead and just scrap these for now. Once again, I'm not even gluing this together. I can play with this like Legos and change it up for the most part. And I probably will create um, another one in the future. Uh, something with some lights on it maybe is, is an idea that I'm having. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this in half and keep this really simple. It's six inches is the total length of the piece. So I'm going to go ahead and make it three inches and three inches cutting it in half and there's that and that on that side and we have that so that is it pretty much that's about as basic as you can get for a, uh, a GoPro mount so you could swim with this and use your fins kick your feet and uh, or if you had scuba gear on you have no problem at all because you can just exhale and you'll just lower into the water and go you know descend uh, but this is pretty much it right here now if you think you're gonna hold it up even higher like this hold your hands like that and you want to be looking down you could technically just take this and turn this like this so that you're getting so that you're getting a straight a straight view in front of you um, and that's probably the most important thing to be thinking about when you're doing this is uh, making sure that your GoPro is aimed right in front of you when you're filming this stuff uh, and you can adjust that as well with this you don't have to do it with the PVC pipe you can honestly just make adjustments with this piece here after you've clipped it on so there's that now the only other really crazy part that you have to be careful about doing is making the four or actually what is it going to be one two I really want to do two zip ties and two zip ties on each side so four zip ties all together I have the zip ties brand new in a bag here I have this ready to record. go oh it's not even plugged in or is it plugged in there it is this is just uh, this is my little handy dandy Dremel tool that I'm going to use to create these four holes. Now this doesn't have to be perfect either, but you do want to make sure that you get these holes at a distance so that you can get a zip tie around it on both sides. So I'm going to come out to the edge. Now another thing with uh, drilling plastic is you want to take your time. You don't want to push too hard and you don't want to use uh, a too big of a drill bit. You want to kind of go up in sizes. If I was going to a really big hole, I would start with a small size drill bit and work my way up just so that I don't crack the plastic and ruin my piece. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Now you should definitely be wearing eye protection when you do this because little pieces of plastic can fly, especially when you're using a high powered tool like a Dremel instead of a drill. A drill is not gonna be that crazy, but I would still use eye protection for that as well. So let me go ahead and get this going. Let's go ahead and make these holes real quick. that's that just uh, rub off the leftover little pieces of plastic that are hanging out it's a little crude but it's definitely gonna do the job definitely gonna do the job I'm not trying to win any awards with this design 
just want to make it work and I really want to get some better footage of turtles and uh, fishes in the uh, in the ocean okay I have four zip ties here I have the base so this base and this connector here is pretty much uh, reversible you can bring the GoPro in from this side or from that side clip it in either way you want so it doesn't really matter which way I go with this so I'm just gonna go ahead and sit it down like that I'm gonna get my first zip tie in here and thread it through both sides go like that pull that tight just like that I'm gonna go over here and do this one try to keep it I'm trying to keep it uniform and keep the head of the zip tie on the insides so once I snip this off, the sharp edges are kind of on the insides here and not on the outsides where I can get scraped with them. I think that's gonna work. Maybe I didn't do that one right. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see how that one goes. There we go. Kind of trying to aim those. Once I snip those off, I'm trying to have those sharp edges point on the inside. And let's go ahead and do this one. And we have one more, one more on this side. Bring it through, thread it through this next hole. And go with it like that. And just make sure they're nice and tight. And they are pretty tight. So that's what it looks like from the bottom. Very nice. Now, last but not least, just go in here and snip off the excess of the zip ties. Just like that garbage over there and there we go that's that I have my broken GoPro clip that works somewhat and there we go that's your underwater GoPro rig your DIY underwater GoPro rig at its simplest and this will get the job done for sure. This will definitely help stabilize the GoPro a little bit more than just trying to hold it with one hand. If you're gonna go ahead and try to use the GoPro with one hand, no matter what, there's gonna be a little bit more shake because you're pivoting like that. So having the two hands on it definitely changes everything and you get a much cleaner, much smoother shot all by itself. And on top of that, like I said before, you go ahead and uh, kick your frame rate up to about 120 frames per second, lower your ISO down, and uh, you should be really, really good with the camera. And then in post, you can slow it down a little bit and even use a stabilization function in your editing software, and it should get really, really smooth. Uh, at the same time, I can add some weights to this rig if I'd like to, and I can sit it at the bottom of the ocean aim the GoPro up and get a really clean smooth shot with the GoPro just sitting on a rock or sitting on the sand at the bottom of the ocean. So that does it. I hope that you like this design. It looks pretty cool to me. It's definitely going to get the job done. I'll be taking this out tomorrow on a little bit of an adventure looking for turtles again and some other fish and uh, hopefully I'll get some better footage. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this nice little uh, DIY build. This is really simple. This is literally a few dollars uh, in plumbing fittings, at the most maybe five dollars in plumbing fittings, even here on this expensive island that I live on, um, and a few zip ties. Uh, this was $1.99 I think for the pack of eight zip ties and I only used four of them. So um, 
I'd say try this one out. This is a good place to start rather than spending 50, 60, 70, 100, $200 for a GoPro underwater tray or underwater rig. Um, this will get the job done for sure and for cheap. So please stay tuned to my content because uh, coming up this week I'm going to have a video filmed with this rig. Uh, I plan on going out tomorrow and uh, doing a little footage with it. Uh, but I really look forward to using it uh, here on the island, off of the island in the ocean. And I plan on taking this with me to Peru to get a little bit of footage in the uh, freshwater uh, streams and uh, freshwater uh, ponds and whatnot that we will be in uh, in the mountains in Peru. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you guys out. And uh, I appreciate all of you that are subscribed to my content. If you're not subscribed to my content, you like it and you want to see more of it, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Uh, check out that bell icon as well. And uh, remember guys, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.